Hey there. I just got to Zimbabwe, a country that you may have heard of for one specific reason. It's the country of hyperinflation and constant economic problems. But is that all that Zimbabwe has to offer? That's what we're about to find out. So Zimbabwe famously created the largest note of currency in history, the $100 trillion bill. And I gotta go find that. <laughs> I gotta pick up at least one. So we're gonna head to the city center right now. I'm gonna meet up with my Ugandan contact. I'm gonna go on a scavenger hunt. Let's go. All right, we're now in the central business district of Harare. The central bank of Zimbabwe, that big building right over there. We're gonna find us a $100 trillion note. I think this is the place. All right, Josie, let's go. Apparently to take wedding photos in this park, you need to pay money, but I'm not sure how much. Maybe somebody just like spray painted on top of it. Oh, right, yeah. There's too much inflation in Zabwe to give you a price for your wedding photos. Oh, nice. You are born here. Fala Portuguese? No, I am. Oh, no. Okay. You speak Portuguese? Yeah, we're just walking around. We wanted to find like a $100 trillion Zimbabwe dollar. <laughs> so Zimbabwe's $100 trillion note has been out of production since roughly 2008. But I heard all these old bills are still fully in circulation. It's just... Uh, Got to talk to the right people to find them. <laughs> We're back in African countries where people are carrying impressive things on their heads. I like these trees that they got in Zimbabwe. I think they're called jacarandas. I'm gonna carry some at home because they really look beautiful. Hope it grows in Uganda. Because you know you can mess with like an entire ecosystem. You start taking seeds from one country into another. Yeah. I know that, but it, 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 it looks cute, you know? They do look cute. The jacaranda tree. That's your favorite word. Cute. Where's the money people? The money people, I think we're gonna go on the other street. Where are the trillionaires? Where are they hiding at? We found the gold mine. I become a trillionaire. Trillion. A trillion dollars. You have a trillion dollars? You have a dollar. Yes. Where is this? Like this one? Yes, yeah, one hundred trillion dollars. One hundred trillion. That one is eighty dollars. Eighty? Eighty dollars. Eight. Eighty US dollars. Eight zero. Eight zero. Yes. To buy this? Yeah. What? How? 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 How much is this dollars? Four. How much is one trillion dollar in US dollars? Oh, for one trillion, you're, you're selling me for. But if I go to the bank, can they give me money? Uh -huh. No? No, so it's an outdated No. Okay. So this is... This is 10 trillion. This is 10 trillion. Oh, wow. This is 10 trillion. Mm -hmm. How much are you charging for this? That one is, is a foot dollars. 40? 40, yes. For the whole pack? That one each. One? One each. Yes. $40. Yes. Can you reduce, please? No? I'll give you 20 for that. 20? 20. 20. Yeah. Wait. Okay. <laughs> this one is how much? Billion? 50 billion? 50 billion. Yeah. Wow. To be as rich as Bill Gates. We are rich! Oh my god! <laughs> You're gonna be rich. Can you imagine just waking up every day, going to buy your groceries, and then this was worth less every single day? How you doing, sir? Oh, what do you, you have money too? Oh, this one is new. Oh yeah, yours are a little bit better. Fifty billion. You got the trillions? Yeah, have a good one. All right, let's uh, one hundred trillion. Awesome, guys. Fifty billion. Guys. 
100 billion, and we got the big daddy of them all, 100 trillion dollars. The largest currency note ever created in the history of humanity. Is this worth spending 60 bucks on? Yes. I don't know if I, uh, <laughs> you might have a slightly biased opinion, but this is probably not worth it, but I've always wanted to be a trillionaire. You're both a trillionaire and billionaire. I'm a super trillion billionaire. All right. And here's some more useful money. <laughs> All right, thank you. Take my number. Your number? Yes, take my number. You come back and buy more trillions from yes. you? Oh. Oh. Okay, maybe you shouldn't be the bank manager. <laughs> okay. Bank manager, I keep the money. Can I pay you a hundred billion Zimbabwe dollars for your yeah. ginger? No, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> One dollar, okay, that's a bit better. Hey, not everybody likes America, but everybody likes American dollars. So this is Harare, the capital of Zimbabwe. It's a bit of a different look from all the different African countries I've been to so far. Kind of nice. There's just billions like lying on the street here. Is this yours? Yes. You dropped your billions? You don't, you don't want the money? It's equivalent to 100 US dollars? Damn. Really? It's not worth 100 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this like, uh, two cents at this point? People here just throw money. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's keep it. Uganda in the American. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you it was like a telenovela. We have a lovely country. I mean, I've been here twice. Yeah. Yeah. You know her? Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 Okay. But for you, I mean, like, if you show for every time, you get to see your stuff and things and stuff like that. So it's actually for you. Do you think things are getting better? There you go. Uh, what can I say? I don't know. Maybe it will Maybe. be better. But for now, I mean, we are in a limbo. It's just a limbo. Oh. This is for Gabi Street. Okay. okay. We're going to take a walk over here. Okay. Yeah. 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 Gotta be honest, before coming to Zimbabwe, I wasn't sure how people were going to treat me, but people here are actually really nice. Zimbabweans are really friendly people. So we're now walking along Robert Mugabe Street. A very controversial man in Zimbabwe's history, but also an important one. You even got coins. One dollar Zimbabwe. Pretty sure that's not even worth what is printed on. Five dollars? I have two dollars. Huh? <laughs> two dollars, no? <laughs> Everything here is expensive. Everything. Yeah. Just so, imagine those glasses in Uganda, you get it at one dollar, and here it's five dollars. Hey! <laughs> to, be, to be fair, one dollar for a pair of sunglasses is crazy low. Yeah? One dollar? Yeah. Yes, in Uganda. Yeah, I mean, that's ridiculously low, Judgy. Are they even making a profit at one dollar? <laughs> Maybe they do. I mean, you would get sunglasses at... Hmm? What is your last price? It's back. Three dollars? Okay, can I have this one? Oh my god, hope I look nice because... Oh my god, I look like H-Man Oh my god, I'm getting out. 
I look weird. Oh my god, we are going, we're going, we're going, we're going. <laughs> you, you look like a big nerd. I, I look like a what? That's, Com- that's not fair. That's a compliment. Do people. I look like a nerd? No? Yeah, not with those, no. No, I don't. Now you look, okay. now you look like a vain uh, Instagram influencer. <laughs> See all the fun you can have in traffic in Zimbabwe. Oh Do you have two dollars? Give me two dollars. Give me two dollars. Oh. oh no. No, we'll wait. No, yeah. We're gonna wait here. <laughs> wait, we lost a sunglass seller. <laughs> We're over here. Oh my god. 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 Oh my for my jelly babies are mad. Yeah, I mean, let me tell you, one dollar is a problem here. Like, <laughs> getting one dollar. <laughs> <Let's laughs> do you have two, three dollars? No, I give him. Tell me, do you have three dollars? Let me see. Yeah, so in Zimbabwe, they're using the U.S. dollar now, <laughs> but Hello. they often don't have the one dollar bill, so it's hard for them to give change. Okay, thank you, my dear. <laughs> okay. The guy has hustled to get two dollars. <laughs> he came back with change in the nick of time. Nice. He's such a sweetheart. We have to walk very hard. Yeah, yeah. So the middle class is not almost like none is either you are rich or you are down. You're down, yeah. That's what I'm <laughs> like that's what I'm saying here. What are the rich people in Zimbabwe though? Excuse me? How do the rich people in Zimbabwe make their money? Uh, well, it depends. Uh, I think right now we can say the richest guys are the ones in mining. Oh. And um, then the tech guys. But most of most of the rich guys, most of the rich Zimbabweans don't live here. Oh. Where do they live? Uh, South Africa, UK. Oh. America. America. They own houses out there, so. They just run their businesses here yeah, mm. and they stay away. I heard that most of the Zimbabwe people are running away from the country because of uh, I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. You see, like like what I'm telling you, most people like the civil servants. Mm. You can imagine a teacher right now mm. is getting about three hundred US dollars. Three hundred US dollars. Yes. Mm. Get half of it in US dollars, which is about one hundred fifty. Then the other half in RTGS. Uh, okay. So half the salary is paid in dollars, and mm-hmm. the other half is in the local currency, yeah. which wow. is like inflating every day. <laughs> oh. Don't have much. You mind if I ask, like, how much is this Zimbabwe one hundred? How much is that worth? Like, how much is this? <laughs> is this one dollar? No. Yeah. This should be one dollar. Not, <laughs> not even enough to get a dollar. Really? Oh, this no, is fifty cents. It's a big stack. Yeah, it's just about fifty. How, how many? How many are there? One. 200, 300, 400, 500, 6, no, you 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So after abandoning the Zimbabwe dollar back in 2008 after the hyperinflation, the current president brought it back around five years ago. And it's already going through inflation again. 200 Zim dollar is 50 cents. No, not 200, 2000. Oh, this is 2000. 2000 yeah. is 50 cents. Oh my god, so this is 2000. Dollar and it is 50 cents. Wow. The first time they gave me this, I was like, damn, I'm What's rich. That? Yeah, I was like, I'm rich. <laughs> yeah, you look like it with those sunglasses on. Yeah, I'm rich. <laughs> All right, so we just took a, kind of like their version of Uber over to Avondale, the original suburb of Harare. And we're looking for some Zimbabwean food. Josie knows where the food is. This is the place. So you're gonna pick. That is, I think, beef. This is pork. This is beef. That is pork ribs. Um, this is like the mixture of everything, like beef, pork, and chicken. Can I have a mountain dew? What? Mountain dew. Yeah. Chicken and chili. It'll be fifteen dollars. Fifteen. Fifteen. Alright. Matabasa. So they're gonna give us a place and everything. Yeah. Okay. And there's a receipt for the stuff. So the Most of them are here. Yeah. Okay. Mata Basa, Mata Basa. You keep the receipts for the Okay. Where are the magic happens? Okay. Been to about twelve different African countries now. This is my first time flying Mount Doe.
Look at that. Look at all that meat in Josie's hands. He's gonna finish it. We're gonna, we're gonna smash it right now. Yeah. And, then and then this Zimbabwean Ugali. It's called uh, Saza. Saza. Yeah. Okay. That was Zimbabwean barbecue extravaganza right here. Right, Josie, I haven't had Ugali in a while. Show us how it's done. Actually, how do you even combine Ugali with this? Okay, so you're gonna. I'm gonna do this. So you do like this. You get this one here. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so hot. This meat is ready. Okay, you know, I don't like the Ugali here because they make it very soft. So I don't yeah. like it. So you just mix it and then. Alright, All right. well, I'm like Josie. I'm fine with soft Ugali. I don't need it to be hard all the time. That's hot. <laughs> the hand washing thing is broken. Alright, now that I've become a Zimbabwe trillionaire, I've got my Zimbabwe mansion over here. Just bought it. Look, here's the pool over here. Ah, oh, yeah. We're really living that Zimbabwe trillionaire lifestyle. Love it. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I clearly did not actually buy a house in Zimbabwe. But what I wanted to say is. Zimbabwe is actually a lot nicer than you might have thought. It's the only real thing that you might hear about this country in the media. It's about the inflation, the economic problems. You've probably heard that the entire economy crashed back in the 2000s, and all that is definitely true. On the other hand, though, you can drop about 40 or $50 and you can rent part of a house. And if you spend a bit more than that, you can rent an entire house. And they're not bad. You can see some really Zimbabwean touches on the house right here. See, like on the roof, you got a bunch of solar panels. And a lot of houses, especially in the northern parts of the city, the main power source is actually solar power. And then they use typical diesel generated energy as like a backup. There's nice shopping centers, restaurants, all kinds of stuff. It's overall one of the nicer countries I've been to in Africa. It's very bizarre. They've just got some currency problems. Got a sign here, ironically placed on top of a tree, advertising a tree cutter. So if you want to cut down the trees in your yard, that's the dude to call. I mean, at the same time, though, there are signs of decay. Like, this path right here, I'm sure in the past, was a nice sidewalk that you could walk along, and now it's falling apart, and in some places, turning back to dirt. I've been told that these traffic lights have not been working for years. Maybe for decades. But everyone arrives at this little junction and they have to navigate the traffic by themselves. It should be a little bit intimidating because in Zimbabwe, you can drive very aggressively. So I guess in spite of how nice this area can look, there's still signs of how it used to be so much better. I'm walking around one of the nicer shopping centers in Harare. Uh, it's got almost everything you need. It's got a gym, it's got multiple supermarkets. But most importantly, just got done using one of the only ATMs in the city that I can use. I got some US dollars. Finally able to pay for things. <laughs> Not long ago, Zimbabwe was known by a different name, Rhodesia. In spite of being heavily sanctioned, it was actually a fairly prosperous country, but it was also a discriminatory one. White British settlers from South Africa created a territory for themselves and made a whites-only government. That was kind of messed up. Later, after a revolution and international pressure, a new nation of Zimbabwe was born under the leader, 
Robert Mugabe, who was initially seen as a hero. Unfortunately, Robert Mugabe was very bad at economics. Amidst many other problems, Mugabe decided to evict all the white farmers from the country, triggering hyperinflation. This was also kind of messed up. Both Rhodesia and Mugabe are gone now. But this history has made Zimbabwe into a very unique place. Do you live here? You live on the farm? No? English? Do you speak English? No, to Shona? This is your home? Yeah. Oh, okay. You are uh, do farming? Okay. <laughs> I wish I knew Shona. I don't know Shona, I think Ah, yeah, yeah. Shona, Kidogo, Kidogo. Yeah, okay, nice meeting you. <laughs> Shona is the main language of Zimbabwe. And it's my understanding that there's different groups of Shona people. There's like more than one, but together they make up the biggest tribe of the country. And there's also Mugabe's tribe and the current president's tribe, and they have kind of dominated the power and politics of the nation ever since independence. Anyway, it might be interesting to talk to a local farmer and see how everything is going. So I'm gonna go with Josie and some local Zimbabwean friends Go check out a farm. Let's go. Hello. All right. So we're about an hour north of Harare, and we're in the farm country of Zimbabwe. This one. Really? That's what he says. Can I see it? Yeah. Even this one. Just like this one. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's what he says. How did these end up so here? You gotta crush it. And I don't know, it's processed. You yes. can get minerals. How did okay. these rocks end up right here? Uh, from the blast. From the blast. Oh, okay. So the and they, They're trying to blast up in mines over yeah. there. And it flew all the way over here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is even further. There could potentially be gold inside of this. A projectile from there up here. Yeah. In addition to farms, there's gold mines all over this area. A lot of gold mining. And nowadays, that's actually Zimbabwe's biggest industry. It gets with your head, that's the end of it. Yeah, hey, there's another one. Oh, yeah. That's wild. Oh, this is too nice. Of course, with that said, the control and the profits from the gold mines on the hands of very few. Maybe we'll get gold in here by any chance. Here, you can take this home. Maybe there'll be gold inside it. When I see that, I don't like those friends of ours. What is it? The snakes. The snakes. Yeah. There's snakes in there? Yeah! Come <laughs> <laughs> There's no snakes in here. That's where the thing went up. Okay, what were you growing here? Oh, like corn, maize. How long have you been managing this land for? Oh, not long, uh, just about uh, four months now. Four months? Oh, okay. Four months. Yeah. Trying to make things work. Okay. Yeah. Was there like a previous owner or something before that? Yeah, the farm has been in, in different hands actually. Okay. Yeah, since he used to sell. So apparently we are the current people running the thing. Can you give us some tomatoes? That's why you visit an African farm. You always don't go empty handed. They're always giving you stuff. So they're gonna give us tomatoes. Wow. Yeah. Very okay. nice of you. You're gonna cook them. Yeah? <laughs> no, I'm gonna give them to Tommy. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. I'm gonna yeah, give them to Tommy because he's always cooking. I've never had cucumber leaves before. This is what we get, so they're bringing the tomatoes as well. Uh, yeah. You know the worms? 
Whams? Yes. Oh, yams. These are the whams. Whams. Yeah. So? Yams or whams? Oh, whams. What's a wham? The one that I O R M, said? yes. Okay. A worm. Yes. Worms. Exactly. It tastes good with that. What do you guys think about eating worms? Oh, I never eat worms. You never eat worms? You never eat the worms that you <laughs> eat here? <laughs> oh, Madora. Madora. Uh huh. Okay. I love them. You love them? Ah. So every Zimbabwean loves eating worms? Not everybody. Not, Not everybody? everybody? Okay. Mm. But it's it's a big it's thing. Worms. It's like eating grasshoppers in Uganda. Yeah. Everybody loves grasshoppers. So we've come to a toll booth here, and it has like a line of cars going up to it that's like a mile long. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's because they don't have change at the toll booth. Like Everybody is supposed to be on just one line. They got cars coming in, they're trying to like cut the line from this side. Oh man, it's like gladiator out here. Car edition. This dude over here in the next car, I think he's trying to form like a barrier. So people can't cut the line. Cheers to you buddy. Thankfully I have the two dollars needed to pay the toll. Not wait for change. Yeah, how we good? Okay, thank you. Zimbabwe. So I'm currently getting extorted by the Zimbabwe police. So you're moving around with a camera? That's my camera. Hmm? I'm a vlog. Sergeant Jogo, please come here. You see, he's actually moving around with a camera. Or he's coming and sit. I don't I'm, know for what. Ma'am, I'm a tourist. So I'm, I'm trying to film your country. You're a tourist? Yes. Mm, what are you doing here in Zimbabwe? I want to go to the police station. All right. If I am... There you have my admission of guilt. Okay, well that was fun. Uh, <laughs> let me try to quickly summarize what happened. Uh, according to Google Maps, I needed to turn left onto this road. Uh, it was a very large intersection. And apparently one of the few roads in Harare that had a working traffic light. And the problem is somebody on the road I was trying to turn on was actually blocking the road. There was like almost no way to turn left. Uh, so I had to drive straight through a red light to avoid an accident. And then that's when I got picked up by the Zimbabwe police. How should you result? How would you like to fix this? How would you like to avoid that? <laughs> That's what. How would you like to avoid that? Um, and uh, yeah, I don't see like I'm generally not really a corrupt person, so I, I'm not very good at these situations. Uh, my first instinct was actually to turn the camera on, which is what happened, and then uh, Miss Lady Police got spooked. Uh, and then they decided to just take me to the police station and have me pay a fine for $30. I don't know. Seems like the kind of thing that if you got pulled over in the U.S., uh, no matter who you are, honestly, I'm pretty sure as long as you're not a dick, uh, the police would let you off. But not in Zimbabwe. Funding the traffic budget here. I mean, at least I guess they didn't accuse me of being a terrorist like in Kenya, so could have been worse. Okay, after my fun with the Zimbabwe police, I'm dropping the car off and uh, getting ready to leave Zimbabwe soon. Look at that, roadside car wash. Dropped it off in the right place. So I would only need uh, uh, 10 bucks for car wash, these guys. Okay. Yeah, so. How long have you been here? Uh, for a little over one week. One week? Yeah. How long have you been? I like it. You like it? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you got a few issues in Zimbabwe, yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's a beautiful country, though. The way for you so patiently. You're the only one today. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are like heroes for having to deal with all this stuff every day. Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, you know, in America, if I want money, I just go to the ATM, I take money out. <laughs> it's not going to be inflated to nothing. No, no, no. Yeah, no, we don't do that. Good morning. So unfortunately, this is my last day in Zimbabwe. It's kind of a short trip. There's so much I'm not going to get to see here. Like Victoria Falls, the largest waterfall in the world. There's beautiful safari locations, all kinds of natural beauty. What are you selling? Pots? Okay. And plants? Okay. So people just drive up and then they buy pots from here. And then it's just got a roadside flower pot stand. How much are these? This one? Yeah. 25. 25? Yes. Okay. What about the big ones? 95. 95. Okay. Zimbabwe, very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I can't buy now, but when I have a house in Zimbabwe, I will buy some flowers. Okay. Hopefully there will be no more inflation. Over here we have an outdoor furniture store. Just down the side of the road. Zimbabwe is very unique. Is this from the rain yesterday? Yes. Oh wow, that was a big rain. Oh yeah, a lot of damage. You can see a lot of fallen trees on the road here. It actually just rained yesterday and it rained hard. <laughs> but the entire time I've been here in Zimbabwe, it was actually just hot and sunny every single day. And then all of a sudden, you had a torrential downpour. Good, how are you? Fine, I'm looking for job as a gardener, traceable, referring to God. You're looking for a job? Yes, my, I was working at Westgate, at Loma Gunde before, but my boss is dead and my medium is old. Yeah, what? But I'm going to help. So what's your phone number? It's 0784. 0784. 87. 87. 84. 04. 12. 12. Yes. Okay. Sure, but. And what, what were your previous jobs? Yes. What did you do before? Before, as a gardener. A gardener? Yes, I'm a gardener, experienced gardener. You call me. Yeah. You see what can I going to do. Yeah. I am a gardener. Yeah. Sure. But well, maybe, I mean, I'm not from Zimbabwe. Yes. But, uh, you know, I make videos. Yeah. Maybe somebody will see my video yes. and they could call you. Thank you. And give you a job. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. I'm a gardener. I yeah, called yeah. Good Tom, luck. Thomas, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. God bless you. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. Sure. And I hope Zimbabwe gets better. Yes. It's a beautiful country. It's a beautiful country, but no jobs. When I first arrived in Zimbabwe, my first experience with the country, my first real experience, was coming out into the arrivals hall of the airport and trying to find an ATM. All the ATMs were broken and not working. Tried to use one and then, while well, getting very flustered, a uh, Zimbabwean lady saw the expression on my face, turned to me and said, it's Zimbabwe. But in spite of all that, Zimbabwe carries on. And it's a country for welcoming people. It's a relatively safe country. You don't really have like constant armed robberies like you do in South Africa. And it's a beautiful country. And I encourage you to come and visit. Maybe just bring, you know, like a lot of dollars before you get on the plane. Zimbabwe. It's definitely at a crossroads. And I hope everything gets better. But I enjoyed my brief stay here. My Tabasa and see Bonga. See you next time, Zimbabwe. And I'll see you guys in another country. Later. Sorry I scratched that. Maybe I'll just stop traveling. After all, I'm a trillionaire now. <laughs>